Hey yo, what is up guys? Your boy is back with my WrestleMania 20, 2022 Backlash review. And let's get into the show. It was a rather short show. Well, not like a short show, but there wasn't that many matches on it, which I actually kind of liked. Um, so it was all pretty decent stuff and nothing really nothing really offensive by spreading out the show to like 10 matches and having a five-hour show, which is nice, and I like that. So the show started off with Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins, and I thought this was a really great way to open up the show, uh, just an awesome match. Um, I, I didn't like it as much as the WrestleMania match. The WrestleMania match was just super, super special to me. Um, and this here, it was just a solid wrestling match. This time, Cody, he and Seth Rollins, he wrestled like he had a lot more time that he had prepared for this match, and yeah, it really showed that he had, like, storyline-wise that he did, and yeah, so he had the advantage for a lot of the match, and he was getting ahead on Cody, and Cody was falling behind in the match, and he, it just, yeah, and Cody, he ended up get, ca catching the roll-up victory at the end, and yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't as definitive of a finish, so I don't know if they're going to continue this, and it's going to keep going, I haven't seen Raw yet, so... Yeah, I thought it was an awesome match. And next up is Omos versus Bobby Lashley. And I didn't like this as much as their, <coughs> again, WrestleMania match. Um, it just kind of felt like there was a lot of fighting out in the middle. Bobby Lashley was a lot stronger, more protected than this. Whereas rather just than treating Omos as the immovable object and something for o Bobby Lashley that he had to overcome. Which I also really quite liked. Um, yeah, so... It just, it didn't, I can't even, like, Omos got the victory here. There's not really that much to say about it. It wasn't very long, I don't think. And, yeah, it just wasn't as good as the WrestleMania match. And Omos, he's just a big guy. Like, he he should be protected. He's a big guy. Not a lot of people can do the things or is as big as this guy. So, he should be protected. But, yeah, it's, uh, it just, it w was what it was, pretty much. No other really thing to say about it. Um... Next up here, I, I do have a bit to say about this match here. Uh, Edge versus AJ Styles. I'm just going to get right to the finish. I did not like the end of the match. I did not like it ending kind of similar to how the WrestleMania match ended with Damian Priest appearing, but instead here it was Rhea Ripley getting the win. And then Edge choking out AJ Styles. It just, it, I don't know, I just didn't like like it too much. Um, yeah, this, this, this whole feud, it's just around... Edge's new faction, and I'm, I'm going to do a video about that because I'm really not a fan of this new Edge faction going here, and yeah, not a whole lot to say. I mean, it was an awesome, it was a really hot open, and there, like, every, the match was good, it's just, I didn't, I don't like that it's just all around Edge's new faction, and just getting them over, and yeah, I just, I don't really like it too much, and yeah, that's all I really have to say, like, I, like it was a good match. It, it was really Edge worked over AJ's shoulder as the storyline was going, and yeah, it was actually a really it was a good match, but it just it wasn't it just didn't to me live up to the expectations of the WrestleMania match, which I again I thought they had an excellent match at WrestleMania, and then this this whole thing it just kind of I don't know I just I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. This is a really good match here. Um, very physical. A lot of cussing between both these people fighting back and forth. And again, someone pointed out that neither of these girls are really all that likable. So it's kind of hard to like get behind one of them. Because it's like Ronda Rousey is just... She's like calling her a bitch and stuff. And telling her to go fuck herself and shit during the match. Um, I just don't... Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of Ronda Rousey. Charlotte Flair, she's just not... She just does not come across as likable. It's not that she's a bad person or anything like that. She's just... Uh, uh, she, I guess she is the heel, but it doesn't really work when Ronda Rousey is supposed to be the face, but Ronda Rousey is also not very likable. I... There's... She... I, I didn't find her too likable when she was in the UFC. And then... <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. And... Yeah, it's just it, this whole match here. I mean, it had a really cool, like, some really awesome stuff in it. Like, the arm bar on the turnbuckle was really, really cool. Because you really bought into that, like, oh, this could be the end of the match. And then it wasn't. And them fighting around in the crowd and stuff. So, yeah, this is a highly, highly physical match. And it was just a great women's match. But, yeah, just hard to get into. And it's like, you can't, you don't really care who wins or who loses. Like, you just don't have an emotional attachment to either of them. So, yeah. Uh, Mad Cat Moss versus Baron Corbin. 
this here, it just it it wasn't a bad match, or they did anything wrong or terrible. It just like it just like the crowd here, it just wasn't good. Like the crowd wasn't very great all night long, if you ask me. And yeah, this just wasn't just wasn't what it needed to be. Not 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 just not what it needed to be. It was it was a fine match. It was just to get Mad Cat Moss over, and yeah, it was really all it was and I think that Mad Cut Moss has just a great a lot of potential and stuff like that but it's just yeah he's he's got potential and stuff and Baron Corbin's not bad it's just like it just the crowd wasn't interested in this they all just seemed to be sitting on their hands and it was just yeah it just seemed like the dead point of the show because it was right before the main event so uh yeah it's just kind of how that match really came off and the main event here, the Bloodline versus Rated RKO and Drew McIntyre. Uh, Randy Orton came off as a god in this match. Like, people love him, and they were just so, so behind him. And this whole RK Bro thing has just made him an even bigger star in the eyes of the, the fans and stuff. So it's like Rated RK Bro is like one of the most over, is probably the most over act on Raw. I think that's pretty easy to say. Like, yeah, I think I think they're pretty much the most over, versus the most overact on SmackDown with the Bloodline. So this is again just the most invested feud in the WWE. People got into Drew McIntyre just not as much as I thought they should because he, he I I don't know like should he beat Drew, Drew, Roman Reigns? Um, yeah, you think you figure he'd go over here and they get they get him uh they build him up for the match, but no, the Bloodline did go over, had a really awesome finish. Um, people popped huge for Randy Orton in this match when he did get the hot tag and he was hitting RKO's and he hit that really beautiful RKO on Roman Reigns when he was going for the Superman punch, which was really sick. Um, Riddle busted his ass off here. He got most of the heat. He took most of the heat, but he normally does. He just does a great job selling and fighting from behind and getting the hot tag. And yeah, he does a really good job of that. Uh, Drew McIntyre hit a lot of really awesome moves here. I mean, he, he came out and he was tossing Roman Reigns around the ring and it that looked really cool, and the whole finish of the match was really cool with that like f- fighting out on the outside, and yeah, I, this this year was a really really great match, like one of the best six mans in WWE probably since the Shield days when they were all together, like back in when they were feuding with the Ev- Evolution and the Wyatt family, and the, back in those days with the Shield. So yeah, this is a great match. I'd highly recommend the first match and the last match on the show, but overall this is a really good show. But it just kind of seemed like it didn't really build anything it wasn't like the like the great post wrestlemania shows like extreme rules 2012 when brock returned it just felt like a big deal or backlash 2007 with the fatal four way with Shawn michaels bret hart and not bret hart john cena edge and randy orton like and the last man standing match with batista and undertaker back on that show so it just it didn't have those that same kind of feel it just kind of it just kind of came the show the fans really came off really mundane but everything else like the in-ring work if you're just a fan of good pro wrestling this is a good show for you to watch a lot of great stuff here if you get into that anyways i'll be back with the hell in the cell review next month peace out guys